Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new episode of Adam the Flop Bops. If you're new here, I'm Adam and I love talking about music tea, so if you love hearing about music tea, make sure to subscribe to see more. But if you're not new, welcome back. I am so, so excited for this episode because I'm going to be talking about my experiences over the past two days that led to me meeting my favorite artist, Selena Gomez. So Selena's amazing and generous team at Interscope invited me to the premiere of her new documentary, My Mind and Me. This itself was such a special moment for me because I've been a fan of every single project Selena has done ever since I started watching her on Disney Channel when I was seven years old. I'm 22 now and I'm still a huge fan of her. I listen to her music every single day. She was on the top of my Spotify rap last year. So this was just such a huge moment for me and I was really excited to watch this film. Before I talk about meeting her, I'm going to be talking about why you should watch this documentary if you have not already. So My Mind and Me is not a tour documentary, but it originally was going to be when director Alec Kashishian started documenting Selena's revival tour. But after 55 shows, Selena canceled the revival tour, which led to the documentary turning into something even bigger. Now, even though this isn't a touring documentary, the film really starts off by showing the effect that touring can have on an artist's mental health, and I think that's something that fans of any artist should see. So even with the cancellation of the revival tour, they continue to film Selena's life over the past six years. If you follow Selena on social media or have seen her interviews, you know that she's been vocal about her experiences with a kidney transplant, lupus, and bipolar disorder. But this film shows her going through those experiences and that could really help people going through similar things. The documentary also shows Selena's healing process and how doing things like going on a philanthropy trip to Kenya helped her. Overall, even though Selena's fans know about the struggles she has faced over the past six years, this documentary really portrays her stardom and mental health journey in a way that allows fans to learn so much more about her. She had so many people at the movie premiere sobbing in the theater, which goes to show how emotional it really is. After the film, Selena and Alec did an interview in front of the audience, and Selena actually mentioned that she did not watch the film along with everybody else. I, I didn't watch it with you guys because I, I think it would be too hard for me to. In fact, Selena mentioned during the interview that she has only seen the final edit one time and does not plan to watch it again. And once you see the film, this makes complete sense because even though she's doing a lot better now, she doesn't want to relive those tough experiences she faced during the documentary. And as an audience member, I really got to see how vulnerable she was by showing her journey. The day after the documentary premiere, I got to go to an intimate Apple event to watch Selena's interview with Zane Lowe. If you haven't watched Zane Lowe's interviews before, you definitely need to. I love how he not only interviews artists, but he has deep conversations with them. I've been watching his interviews for so long, so I definitely freaked out when I saw him, and the fact that he was interviewing my favorite artists just made me even more excited. Zane has interviewed so many artists like Taylor Swift, Adele, and Harry Styles, and there's just something so comforting about watching his interviews because he always has the best conversations with his guests and that's exactly what he did with Selena. One question he asked Selena was what her favorite moment from the documentary was. And she said her favorite moment was the scene where she's rehearsing for the 2019 AMAs. She was getting really stressed out during this rehearsal because she was about to perform Lose You To Love Me for the very first time, which is a very vulnerable and powerful song. What scene in my mind and me are you most proud of? It was probably when I was rehearsing for the AMAs. I wasn't ready, and I started to listen to a Lauren Daigle song, and I felt like that was me really trying to push through something that was difficult. And ultimately, it wasn't my best performance, but that moment I had rehearsing meant more to me anyway, because it was me trying to heal. It wasn't like I wrote the song and I was like, I'm over it. It's like, no, I actually am still kind of feeling it. So it's terrifying to it get up and sing. Crazy you promoted it. I mean, it was such a personal yeah. release. It really was, but it was such a, a gift at the end of all of it. And when she said that this was her favorite moment, I got really happy because when watching the film at the premiere, it was also one of my favorite moments because I love the song You Say by Lauren Daigle. And the fact that Selena used that song as a way to help her during that moment just felt so powerful. After the interview, Selena did a meet and greet with her fans, and I'm not kidding when I say that she is the kindest person. I was so nervous in line to meet her. When I got up to her, my hands were shaking. I was stumbling my words. I didn't know how to speak. I kind of blacked out a little bit, but I definitely told her that I love every project she does. I told her that I have her Revelacion vinyl hanging up on my wall, and she got so excited to hear that, and then we took a picture. Come with me to two different events with Selena Gomez. I can't even believe I get to say this because I am such a huge fan of every single project that she does. The first event was the premiere of her documentary, My Mind and Me. Here's me on the carpet and here's her on the carpet looking absolutely stunning. 
After the carpet, I went into the theater with my popcorn to watch the film, which I obviously did not record. Go watch it on Apple TV. I loved this film. Selena is so brave for sharing her mental health journey, and I really think she's going to help so many people by doing that. And here's her after the film doing an interview with the director, Alec Kishishian. Day two, the event was at the Apple Tower Theater in downtown LA. I had never been to this building before, but the inside was beautiful. The Apple team announced that we would be watching a live interview with Selena and Zane Lowe, and here's me and Madeline freaking out after hearing that. After the interview, it was time to meet Selena, and here's us realizing that we were just moments away from that. Selena was so kind. I cannot believe this happened. Here's us taking some selfies. She also gifted us her flavor of the serendipity ice cream, and here's me eating it as soon as I got home. It was delicious. In conclusion, go stream the documentary and the song. The documentary is out now on Apple TV, and the song is out on all streaming platforms. Thank you so much to Interscope and Apple for having me at these events and being so kind to me. And thank you to Selena for giving me and your other fans your time. I know I speak for so many when I say that seeing you overcome all these difficulties will serve as an inspiration to people all around the world. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Adam the Flop Bops. I'm Adam, your host. Make sure to subscribe to see more music tea and also follow my other socials if you're not already.